is sauna therapy built into our genes. Uh, and this is interesting. Back, back in the 70s, when, when Louise and I were uh, youngins and, and uh, just married, I, I, I've been a science geek my whole life. And I, I read this article in one of these uh, science publications about how, uh, and this was when they were really just really starting to figure out exactly how fever works. Um, about how suppressing fever actually can slow the rate at which people recover from infections. Um, my recollection, I mean, this was a long time ago, my recollection is they were talking about things like the flu. And uh, so if you take an anti antipyretic drug, a, a fever-reducing drug, you know, a, a Advil or aspirin or something like that, it can actually slow down the healing, even though it reduces the, the side effect of the fever. But fever is the body's way of turning on huge, multi-layered systems that do a whole bunch of different things. And you know, typically when the body has a, an infection, it turns on its own fever and, and you know, does this thing all by itself. But you can turn on fever without an infection and get the benefits of that by simply taking a long, hot bath and getting your, your pulse actually will tell you what your core temperature is for every roughly every one degree of uh, Fahrenheit of body core temperature increase, you'll see about a 10 beat per minute increase in your heartbeat rate. Um, and also, you know, you sweat, you actually sweat out toxins, including heavy metals. It's pretty much the only way your body can get rid of heavy metals is through sweating. You know, these uh, things like lead and cadmium, these poisonous heavy metals that are in our food supply and in the dust we breathe and things like that. Um, so it turns out that sauna is like, you know, this is like this incredibly therapeutic thing. And there's all these different levels at which it works. First off, they go back 10,000 years. They've, they've found, you know, the, uh, this is the old sweat lodge. You know, indigenous people, humans for thousands and thousands of years have been building saunas in, in basically every, every culture, at least every culture that has winter, but in many cases, every culture all around the world. And uh, so there's that and, you know, the, the, the Finns and the Native Americans and all that kind of thing. And, uh, and by the way, ever since then, you know, every time Louise and I have bought a house, we have uh, looked for houses that had saunas built into them or we built them. Uh, or just put in a, a big bathtub, you know, so that, so that we could take long, hot baths. Um, so what happens? Well, when you, you, you heat your body up a whole bunch, it's subject, and, and I think this is a perfect topic, by the way, for the coldest, coldest week of the year. Um, it subjects your body to something called heat stress, which is a mild increase in the, the core temperature of your body. And what this does is it produces, uh, it does a whole bunch of things. Number one, it helps your body do away with senescent cells. These are cells that are no longer functioning, but they're still using energy and they produce inflammatory markers. Um, senescence is, uh, uh, and senescent cells are associated with aging. Another is that it controls the rate of protein development and protein folding. Um, there's a whole family of proteins that are produced by your body as a result of exposure to high heat, and they're called heat shock proteins, HSPs. And sauna increases the levels of this. Sauna increases the functioning of the mitochondria. These are the little engines inside each one of your cells that, that produce energy from the... From the nutrients in your, in, your, in, your, uh, in your bloodstream. And it helps regulate inflammation. There's a, 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 and it's actually good for your heart. There's a study, the, the Kayapo ischemic heart disease, a risk factor study, found that people who take frequent saunas have lower rates of heart disease. Uh, saunas also help regulate lipids, you know, fats, HDL, LDL, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's your brain. Saunas actually help you revive or, or build new brain tissue, new, new neurons, uh, nerve and brain tissues through something called neurotropic factors uh, and brain-derived neurotrop neurotropic factor, BDNF. Um, you see a significant increase in BDNF when you are subject to hot water insertion, uh, you know, uh, uh, immersion or uh, sauna. So bottom line, you know, take a hot bath or take a sauna uh, during these cold winter days, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to lengthen your life and improve your health, and uh, you know, I, I'm not offering medical advice here, but I can tell you, I have been doing this for 50 years, nearly, 
And I find that, you know, if I get even a little bit sick, I take a long hot bath or take a sauna and boom, it just knocks it right out. So something to think about.